how's your week going? My week has been amazing and I knew it was gonna be amazing when I got the message this week. So I wanna dive in to this message and read it to you and it's this. When you give it all to God, there is nothing left that you carry with you. This is when miracles happen for you abandon any attachment to what healing requires from you. Simply relinquish the familiar to encounter the miraculous. So tonight I wanna to talk about the miraculous and what it means to relinquish the familiar in order to encounter the miraculous because we're all living in this day-to-day -day life that is super familiar to us. I don't know about you, but we all have, you know, our same routines we have every morning. We all think our partners, our jobs, whatever it is, it's so super familiar that it almost becomes mundane and we don't see the miraculous that is happening all the time. So I wanna bring some awareness to that tonight by sharing a story with you. So first of all, um, I woke up on Monday morning and I heard these words and I was propelled out of bed with this vision of an old man sitting and journaling and every time he would write down a word, it would vanish. And I could sense that this man was writing about his life. He was writing about the, fam the familiar. He was writing about his relationships. He was writing about his job. He was writing about the questions he had in life, whatever it might be. And every time he wrote something down, it was like he was giving it to God and he lo no longer carried it with him. So I'm a huge journaler and that's something that I absolutely love. And so I took this vision and I applied it to my own life and I started journaling the things in my own life that I didn't wanna carry with me anymore. That I'm like, God, if you could just take this and I could really believe this message is true, that all I have to do is abandon any attachment to what healing means and what healing requires from me Meaning God doesn't want you to have to change anything about yourself to make something work in your life. God doesn't want you to have to do anything. Like there is there is an element of our acts, obviously, in faith. But this attachment to the fact that it has to be a certain way, that's an attachment. So it's like, let it go. So I started journaling and I started watching those things dissipate and envisioning it in my own life and, and really feeling like God had control and it was beautiful, but I was still experiencing the familiar. It was just this beautiful feeling energetically of letting that go through journaling. So that was the first part of the story. The second part is I had this premonition and I believe a premonition is a very miraculous thing, right? Like we cannot explain what a premonition is. We cannot really explain what the miraculous is. That's why we have that word, but what happened is I was in a familiar situation. I was in our, our home down in Texas and I was pulled up to our gate and for some reason I had forgotten our gate code. And so I was sitting there and as I was sitting there, this gigantic motorhome pulled in behind me and opened the gates. Now, obviously this seems completely familiar. It happens a hundred times that somebody would do that or, you know, it just, it's part of familiar, right? But what was interesting about this experience is that in the moment before the, before the motorhome pulled up behind me, I heard the words, pay attention. And I hear that often in my own messages in life. And it's a moment where I know to get quiet because life's gonna give me a message. In other words, the familiar is gonna provide something that gives me a message. And in this case, it was a premonition because I had all of a sudden this vision that somebody is gonna come in behind me and open the doors for my business. Somebody who's bigger than me, somebody who has more than me, somebody who has more influence, whatever it is. And they're gonna be able to open the doors for my message to, to come across. And I saw this very clearly. And it was a miraculous experience because I didn't plan it. I couldn't have made it happen. It was just something that I was open to 
because obviously I have this kind of relationship with life and that's why I share these messages with you because I want to increase that awareness in your own life so that you can experience these things and maybe just watching this video you're opening yourself and maybe even asking to be shown the miraculous in your own own familiar parts of your life so in this experience that was a miraculous experience but why did it happen how did it happen these are the things that to me are the miraculous and I've had it happen many times in my life. And what I'd like to share with you is if, if you want to relinquish the familiar in order to encounter the miraculous, there's a few things. Number one, pay attention to your body. Our bodies are tools of communication. And the moment we have maybe a fluttering heart, maybe the air starts to stand still around us, maybe our ears start to ring, maybe you start to hear something else speaking, even though it's a part of yourself. Um, whatever it might be, there are ways that your body responds in miraculous situations, and it allows you to open up to our spiritual life, to spiritual life that is evident in everything around us. Everything has spirit, everything has energy. And so I believe that God is constantly wanting to communicate with us through our own familiar experiences in life. And if you don't believe in talking to trees and talking to bees and talking to flowers, whatever it might be, pay attention to what songs come on your radio. Pay attention to who's standing in front of you in that grocery store line and having a conversation that you needed to hear. These are miraculous things, but they, they come across in a way where there's a specific message for you. And this is what I am so passionate about. And I help people all the time tune in to how it is that they tune into their intuition to hear these messages. Because when you apply these messages to your life, then you just create with life. And it's the most beautiful experience. And that's why I'm so passionate about sharing these messages with you. But if you want help tuning into your messages to create your life, call me. That's what I'm here for. So I hope this has given you some awareness to your own life. And hopefully, maybe, like I said, even given you this desire on some level to experience it. And just because you're open, your eyes will be open here over the next coming days. So I hope that happens for you. If it does, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And thanks again for tuning in for tonight's Thursday Night Thought. I look forward to sharing our next Thursday Night Thought together. Have a great week.